Yo, what's good guys? Today I'm going to show you how to record your PC screen and record all your gameplay for whatever games you're going to play. So the first thing you want to do is download Open Broadcaster Software, OBS for short. I'll leave the link in the description. Open that up, download it. Simple process. Then what you want to do, open it up. It'll bring you to this. So what you want to do, first of all, make sure your resolution is the resolution of your PC. So 1920 by 1080 is the default. You can lower it down to the output so you can get more performance you know so the, let's start with how do you record your PC screen and what game you're gonna play so make sure you have a new scene go to your sources add a game capture you can name it whatever game you want here I'm gonna just put Call of Duty because why not press OK then what you want to select is mode capture any full screen application make sure you test all these out because some applications doesn't want to work so I don't have a game open right now I'm opening one up right now all right once your game is open up you can test any of these three options capture any full screen application capture specific window or capture foreground window with hotkey personally these two are the best so you can click on it and then this is full screen so it will I'm pretty sure it should capture this and as you can see it does not it's not capturing it it's full screen pretty sure it's full screen right here so if you go back it's still not capturing so what you want to do once that doesn't work you do capture specific window window and then you select the game that you're playing that's right here boom there you go there's a game show up I can go to the actual game and play it like normal if this still doesn't work it still doesn't work and your game doesn't show up what you want to do is you want to add a display capture this will capture everything in your screen so whatever you have like you want to have chrome here or like some anything random on your display you could choose the display you want to do by the way i have two displays so you could choose whatever but whatever display you're using whatever is on that screen is going to show up so even not just your game everything that you have any tabs you have open is going to show up here once you do everything what game capture does differently is that it only captures the game itself so you can alt tab you can go to another tab and it won't show that but that is just in case your game does not show up after you select the game make sure you guys have your fps on 60 you want to select bilinear fastest but blurry scaling make sure you have your resolution set to your normal and your recording settings this is the recording settings you need so that you can record in the best quality possible so you go to output make sure you select advanced go to recording select standard for the type of recording your format MP mp4 that's the best format that you can use and audio track just select one for now your encoder if you can either have x264 or nvidia nvink nvidia nvink is your graphics card if you have a nvidia graphics card it uses your graphics card to process the recording as you're doing the recording x264 is using your processor otherwise known as cpu to process the recording so if you choose nvidia nvink it's going to use your graphics card you might see less performance in your game because your game mostly use your graphics card but it's not that big of a difference it's like maybe 10 fps but if you use cpu it uses your processor so and your whole computer can be a little bit slower than usual but it should be fine because it's just a recording you're not streaming or anything what i recommend to record with is nvidia nvink because fortnite itself if you're recording fortnite fortnite is cpu bound so you would want to use your GPU instead. So your rate control for your recording, set it to CBR. Don't choose any of the other ones. Bit rate, set it to 55,000. You could put it to 60,000. 60, it all depends on your, your speed of your internet and all of that what can handle. So I just set it to 55. Keen frame interval, just set it to zero. It's auto, auto, so you know. Your preset, set it to quality. Your, so it doesn't use all your performance in game profile set it to high you can check both of these the GPU puts zero max B frames is two this is what your actual game is gonna come through 
and then your mic you got to choose your actual mic whether you use my blue yeti or you use a external application to make your mic sound better choose that and i don't i don't mess with any of these hot keys you can choose any key you want so you can choose this you can put any key you want boom i so it was with once i press i it will start the recording so and then i could put another one here h so if i press h it will stop the recording so that's pretty much what it is see i just put backspace now it's putting backspace all right so your stream though this is a recording so yeah all right guys so that's pretty much it that's how you record your pc screen i'm gonna delete the scene because i already have a scene i don't need this scene so thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this did help you in any way make sure you guys subscribe i will do more content like this tips and tricks you already know and yeah that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed I liked it better when we was low key. Now you telling all your friends that I'm different, ain't the old me. Taking these drugs, I'm at the OD. Can't tell me that you loyal or you love, gotta show me. Locked up in pain and you my code D. For all the time that we waste, we gon'